going on you guys? Rob Sawyer the Highway here. Today is Sunday, isn't it honey? We're doing a little different vlogging today because I haven't done vlogs in days because I don't have time. I don't have time for anything these days. Just making some crepes, homemade from scratch. Nothing to see here as I goof up my flipping. Today's vlog is going to be on a little bit of kitchen stuff because one of the things that I love to do is cook. It doesn't matter what it is, I'll cook it. I am not afraid to cook anything. I could cook good steaks, I could cook scallops, I could cook fish, chicken, pork, bacon strips. Doesn't matter what it is, but I like to cook. And part of cooking is having the right tools because <laughs> my wife's looking at me laughing. She thinks it's funny that I'm vlogging. Hey, piece of meat here. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, there's a crepe here ready for you. Why don't you eat? Okay. Cat, you are the most obnoxious thing in the world. Do you know that? You're not getting in there, so get out. Go! Oh, you're so dumb. You're smart, rather. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. So, tools. What do I use in the kitchen? So, number one, I've got a regular four burner stove. Yeah, it's built into the thing or whatever but this is my one of my prized possession pans this is a double burner pan it's about 12 inches wide maybe 14 but it's really long it takes two burners this is the ideal situation when you're making things like pancakes and crepes you could get more done at once I've got other nonstick pans now any pan I have so I've got a lot of nonsticks and I got a lot of cast irons none of my nonstick pans ever see soap you cannot use soap on a nonstick pan if you want it to last long. You never use soap on a cast iron. Um, so that being said, I've got a couple unique things that I think make my life easier, like this flipper here. This flipper is massive, just to see my hand as a size. This is the right size flipper to do these types of things. Now on the same side, I got a little guy like this. Now what's cool is this one is beveled off in all four di uh, three directions, so you could go sideways or whatever with it. And these are good for um, doing little things like sausages. Then I have these. These, there's regular tongs, like these ones. And then there's these kind here. My wife's digging for the orange one, of course. She found these, so these are almost like tweezer tongs. Tweezer tongs are unbelievable. You could do more with little tweezer tongs like this than you can with any other type of tong. So you either have a tweezer tongue like this, or you're wrong. Um, I need that plate, I gotta get these crepes off. Oh, you took it, okay, grab another one. Anyways, um, what else? What else makes a kitchen good? Well, more cooking spray. Got a blender here, I use a blender on low to, um, to do crepes because it mixes it really well. When you're making crepes, eh, sometimes they get sideways. It doesn't matter though. Let's see. What else is important for your kitchen? So, another thing that's highly important is a range that sucks. So, you have these filters here that get clogged with grease. A lot of people say, oh, you just go buy new ones. I wash them with, with this soap. You, there's no reason to replace metal things like this unless they start getting beat up and worn and tattered, then maybe. But this. Microwave or Ranger if he has vents to the outside when I had the house built I paid extra for that because There's no way Like most apartments most places you go to all it does is it takes the smell whatever you're doing It just comes and spits it right back out here like what is the point of that? Like if you have a range hood it has to vent out to outside or you're wrong. That's it um, a Couple other things now. I've got a nice premium faucet that I installed you do, I I like the ones that are super high because I've got big pots of pans and like when we were in our apartment I had this big pasta bucket I use down here. I don't use it very often. It was so big it didn't fit in the sink I had to use the bathtub to wash it. So having a tall faucet helps But even if you didn't have a tall faucet, let's say it was normal height You have to have one that pulls out. I know these are more maintenance and I know they're prone to you know getting cracks and leaks and whatnot, but I don't care you having one that pulls out is good and then this one does both so you just push this button and it turns to a spray garbage disposal is ideal you don't need one um, what else 
Yeah, cooking space area, like this is all filled with clutter. This drives me absolutely insane. This clutter here. I mean, it's my own doing, so really I can't complain. Hold on, I gotta flip these. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, that one's got off the side of the pan. Honey, you wanna be on the vlog? No. Now. Anyways, the clutter and whatnot, like when you have a cooking space, it's ideal to have from here all the way around so you have all the room. And when I when I go to a lot of cooking for a lot of people, this whole area minus these knives and minus this new wine opener that we never use gets totally cleared. So you have all the cooking space in the world. Got a double oven. Don't need a double oven. We don't use both ovens at the same time, except for like we're cooking for big Thanksgiving, yeah, Christmas, whatever, but like, you don't need a double oven. Um, it's nice to have, um, especially if you have two different temperatures set, but honestly, I think if you didn't have a double oven and you had a regular range with four burners or a wider one with five, they do, now they split, like these are just drawers here, but like imagine an oven where you have here and then you have a little guy on top. Those are kind of cool too, those are considered double ovens. Even that would suffice, because you could get two different temperatures going. You know, you gotta cook something at 300 or 350, and then you gotta, then you gotta get something way up to 450 or something, two different temperatures on, so that's kind of important. Um, and then lighting, you know, as you well know, I'm a lighting guy, so I've got all the good lighting installed on these little wireless switch here, so like I could control even over there, whoops. See, so I can control it from here, so I've got individual lighting, I've got the light from this that I could turn on and off here. Lots of power outlets, like that was there from the home, or from when we built the home. GFI, and then that feeds the, all the outlets. This was all one circuit here. But, uh, and then the backsplash I installed myself. Backsplashes are nice, you don't need them. They, they just look good. So I have one, I installed myself. It took forever, because I didn't know what I was doing. But now I've done it twice, so I'm an expert. Boy, you just want to be featured on this film, huh? Is this what you want? Yeah, you're annoying, dude. All right, well, I'm going to get rolling here. I'll get this video uploaded later today. And I'm going to try to keep these vlogs going, but I've just been so busy with work. I just don't have time for anything. So, like, subscribe, favorite. Thank you for your time. Oh, yeah.